This is the new Home Assistant Connect ZWA2, and it's one of the best ideas I've seen in a long time. Now, I think just about every Home Assistant user should have a look at this because it provides a few major benefits, and it's really going to change how I'm looking at designing my own smart home. So today I'm going to tell you what the benefits are and what the drawbacks will be for this new device, but please understand I don't have one just yet. I'm just doing a technical evaluation of what I've seen. I did buy one though, so you can ask me down below what I found since I received it. Now the first big benefit is that this is Z-Wave 800, which is the newest version of Z-Wave. That's gonna give you access to all of the new Z-Wave products coming out today, as well as all previously released Z-Wave products that work with Home Assistant, which is a long list. It's also Z-Wave Long Range capable. Z-Wave Long Range will run at the same time as your regular Z-Wave network, and it can travel much further than plain old Z-Wave. It's a big benefit for those of you with larger homes, acreages, and or farms. But I think the major benefit is that this is a properly designed antenna. This gives the device its distinctive look, but the antenna has been optimized so that everything can travel further. Not only is this better at sending signals further, but it can actually pick up lower power signals from other Z-Wave products. In fact, there was one uh, test result given by the team designing this that impressed me quite a bit. They said they were able to transmit up to 1.5 kilometers using the ZWA2, and they said the test scenario wasn't even perfect, so they feel like they could get further out with this. Those are the big benefits, and I think there will be a few other smaller ones, like the little LED light on top telling you a number of different things. But not everything is perfect from my perspective. The aesthetic is probably the biggest thing, and while I am impressed with how good this looks, I can't imagine a lot of the misses in our homes being excited to have this somewhere on a shelf or on a table. It's going to be hard to locate it in the middle of your home too unless you have a home assistant hub in the middle of your home today. That's because the only port on this is a USB-C port. You will get a 1.5 meter USB cable in the box, but that means it's not power over ethernet. So it at the very least looks difficult to locate this far away from your hub. For myself, I might just move my hub or I might try a USB to ethernet type of converter. That would let me potentially put this upstairs in the middle of my home. And I've seen a few people talking about that method of getting this into the middle of their home so they could have perfect Z-Wave coverage. For those of you that already have Z-Wave on your home assistant, you'll also be a little concerned about the migration method because it is the absolute worst time in your life to unpair and repair a Z-Wave device, let alone a whole network. Now the good news there is that there is a migration tool and actually a migration guide, but you'll want to do some reading on that because depending on what you're using for Z-Wave and Home Assistant now, it could be a little bit of a different process. So I'm using uh, Z-Wave JS UI for example. There is a process there, but it's never going to be the most fun thing. The other drawback is why I initially got something else in my home. This USB dongle called the AOTech Z-Stick 10 Pro does the job and it's Z-Wave and Zigbee capable. That one doesn't reach quite as far as I'm sure this new one will, but it's Z-Wave 800, Z-Wave long range, and all of that only takes one USB port. Now that might be a real problem depending on what you're using for your home assistant instance. You may not want to be using multiple USB ports for different radios. I think that is where the power over ethernet method or some kind of remote option for this 
would have been very important for the folks from Nabucasa to include. But again, none of this is the end of the world. And I think that there is a massive benefit. You're just going to have to think about some of those potential drawbacks in your situation. If that last one is too much of a concern for you, or if you just want to see what the process is like to build a Z-Wave network, you can watch our video right there where I went through building both a Zigbee and a Z-Wave network with Home Assistant using that AOTech Z-Stick 10 Pro. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and of course, live smart.